when we have Emil on the last, it's really nice to go the first leg, so that's good for me. And so it's also the composition like you were doing in uh, Novemesto World Championship? Mm, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So it's a good, uh, good way to start for Norway. Alan, how did you prepare for today after not being at World Cup regular this season? Uh, no, I did the uh, normal preparations. Uh, of course, it's a little bit extra here in Drupalding with all uh, all this crowd and and everything. But uh, it's what I do every day: uh, shoot and ski, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do here as well. So that's the only thing I have been focusing on. So you enjoyed the day very much, very much. Johannes, did you expect such a tough fight today with Aunt? Yes, I uh, I knew uh, from uh, last week that uh, Arndt was very very strong on the last lap and very good shape. So when I was uh, eight seconds after him behind before the last lap, I knew uh, that <laughs> it would be a really painful last run. But uh, I managed to to get his back and uh, yeah, then I can just send Emil out in in Simon uh, back. So. I'm satisfied with my leg. Emil, were you confident that you could overtake Simon even after leaving seven seconds back after the final shooting stage? And can you tell us a little bit about this very strong tactics on your last loop? Yeah, <clears throat> I was not sure because uh, Simon is a good, uh, very good athlete. So I was not sure, but I went uh, full speed from uh, from the shooting and uh, and stayed behind. Uh, you know. I'd, you use some power to to catch uh, such an athlete, so so I needed to regain some strength. Uh, and then I stay behind the whole loop, and uh, and uh, then I, I know I'm I'm quite good in the in the, in the turns, so I, I try to to take advantage of my turn technique uh, and um, yeah use this in the, one of the last turns uh, before the stadium. So uh, so this was my plan today, and it seemed like it uh, worked pretty well. And very glad after this uh, tough week to in Oberhof. Yeah, for sure. And um, this is the first relay we we the Norwegian team uh, is uh, winning this year. So so it feels good to be back on top. It was uh, really important today. I could see it uh, in the eyes of the other guys on the team. They they really wanted this. So uh, feels good. Also, first time not uh, now being on the podium is for the German relay. Eric, what kind of tactics do you use as a lead-off leg in a relay? Because I think you like also this position a lot. Uh, my tactic was <clears throat> running behind everybody who's in front of me and shooting clean, the browning, and then yeah, hope the best for standing and yeah, give everything on the last lap. Yeah, and to the, just a normal race. There's uh, no big tactical thing on it. Andreas, was it nice to be able to have your best form this season here, especially with this big home crowd? <laughs> yeah, this is nice for me to race in Rupoling. Uh, I trained the whole year here and uh, I like this atmosphere. With my family is here and I like it very much. So it's, uh, it's good to have a good race, but uh, the last years it was not so successful in Rupoling for me. But uh, I hope for the new tracks this year. I like it very much, and uh, yeah. So this year is more of effort to to know the tracks and and the profiles, than uh, the last years maybe with a little bit too much pressure. No, the the profile is a little bit easier, I think, uh, like the last years. Uh, I like not this uh, long uphills, and I like it more flat. And um, this is new this year, and. Uh, I think that's the right way for me, <laughs> because I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Timofey, three starts, three podiums, so great performance of the Russian relay so far. Um, but the first time that you are on third position, um, what was the reason today that you had to let the two other relays go in front of you? Timofey. 
У вас был очень хороший старт, у вас было три старта, три места на подиуме. И почему вы сегодня отставали? Ну, сегодня отставал, потому что стрелял не очень уверенно, можно так сказать. Вот. Немножко трясло на стрельбе, видимо, подход не совсем понял, какой. Вот. Ну и последний круг там получился такой, из-за того, что ноги немножко затекли от льда и тяжело бежалось из этого. So he says that the shooting was really hard. He was a little bit insecure, um, and the last round of the of the run was also not so good. Alexei, you were a late replacement for Malishko. When have you been informed to run today? Алексей, вам сегодня поздно сообщили, ну как вас сегодня поздно подменили, и когда вы это узнали, что вы будете за Малышку бежать? Я это узнал за 50 минут до старта. 50 минут до старта. How have you recovered from your broken arm? Tell us about the process. Как вы справлялись с переломом uh, руки? Ну, после того, как я сломал, я не знал, что у меня перелом. То, ли, то есть думали, что у меня трещина, можно сказать, а у меня перелом со смещением оказался, которым я еще тренировался целый месяц, после чего мне пришлось сделать операцию. После этого, я, ну, в общей сложности 4 месяца восстановления. И сейчас только более-менее набираю какие-то кондиции. So, um, as he broke his arm, he didn't know it was broken, and he trained for a month, and uh, then he had to go with an operation, and so he had um, to wait for four months. Do we have other questions? No. Thank you very much.